What would you like to talk about? Pride. What? Pride. 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 Are you proud? At times. Sometimes. Why? What are you proud about? About achieving huh? Achieving Achievement. What have you achieved? Or admiring people who have achieved? Or do you want to achieve? Is that what you want to talk about? Pride, achievement, success, money, position, power. Is that what you all want? Probably you all do. Don't fool yourself. Don't deceive yourself. You all want to do, have now things. Yes, sir. We all want that because uh, in today's uh, world we can't live without those things. What? In today's world we can't live without those things. In these times, boy says, we can't live without those things. How do you know? Anyway, you see a poor man. Uh, they now give many respect. You come out here. <laughs> what? Any day they see a poor man or anything, sir, they now give him anything or they won't uh, try to make him a nice man or they won't give him any respect. So what do you want to be? So anything which we can achieve enough respect for uh, for living a happy life, but not too much of respect. <laughs> You're quite right. Not too much respect, but fairly comfortable life. Yes. And a happy life, is that yes. it? Is that what you want? Yes. Then go after it. Sir, so, but it's not so easy unless you try and achieve it. Any other question? Sir, what is the difference between meditation and concentration? What? What is the difference between meditation and concentration? Between education... So what meditation is between meditation. concentration? Dedication. Meditation. Meditation and concentration. Meditation. And I, I understood. Do you really want to talk about that? Yes, sir. Or is it a game? No. Or just fun to talk about something you're... I may be interested in. Is that it? No, sir. You really want to know what is meditation and concentration? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, sir. <laughs> yes. If you really want to talk about that, Will you pay attention to what I'm talking, what I'm going to say? Yes, sir. Don't say yes, sir. I'm <laughs> fidget. <laughs> do you really want to talk about it? If you do, it's a very, very serious subject. What do you think is concentration? It's something which you have, uh, you really want to think about, sir. Yes. Think about Some, it deeply. Huh? Go into it deeply. Think about it deeply for a Think about deeply. Think about it deeply. Think about it deeply. What do you mean by that? Something in which we want to keep our minds on. What? Something which we uh, keep our minds on. Come over here. Something you want to keep your mind on. Right? Have you tried it? You want to look at those flowers, or your book, or what your educator is saying. Have you ever looked at it very carefully, those flowers? 
what the teacher is telling you, listen to him, and concentrate on a book. Have you? Sometimes. Sometimes. When does that happen? When you like it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, when you like something, you put your attention, your thought, your energy in observing it. Right? And that's generally called concentration. That is, you concentrate on the book you're reading, right? Or on something that you're looking very carefully at those flowers, right? Or what your friend or your teacher is telling you, right? Yeah. Have you ever watched very carefully concentrate on something for a long time? Not for a second or two, but for a long time. Have you done it? I don't know. Okay. Yes, try it now. Okay. <laughs> try now to listen very carefully to what somebody is saying to you, or look at those flowers for a long time. Hmm? Not allow any other thought to come in. That's what means concentration. Focusing, giving all your attention to something that you are listening to, or reading a book, or watching something, a lizard going across the wall. Hmm? Mm. Will you do it? Are you doing it now? Yeah. Huh? Stop, yeah. You are? Yeah. Good. Now, when that takes place, what happens? We understand the thing. You, not only you understand, but what is happening? Go. I'll explain to you presently. You think it out for yourself. Where do you come from? Huh? Where do you come from? Uh, yes. Mangalore. Mangalore. Good. I've got two boys. Now two girls. <laughs> now he wants to know. What is the difference between concentration and meditation? Right? You don't know the word meditation, do you? What it means? No. Nor do you know the meaning of the word concentration? No, no, I think I Now you know, because I've pointed out to you. So concentration means Focusing your thought, your energy on something. So, what? But isn't it difficult to, I mean, concentrate on something without any thought in your mind? Come on, yeah. Move, move a bit so that we give her more room. <laughs> She's a big girl, right? She's a big girl. But isn't it difficult to concentrate on something without any thought in your mind? That's it. Is it not difficult? Listen to it carefully. Is it not difficult to concentrate on something without thoughts coming in? I think it is. Huh? It, is difficult. it is difficult, isn't it? So, then what do you do? We we'll try and keep the other thoughts uh, other away. away. Yeah. Then, who keeps the? And I won't make it complicated for you. So you concentrate on a book, and other thoughts come in, right? Right. Yeah. Then what do you do? We try to get it out. Huh? We try to 
I mean, keep them away. Yeah, you try to push other thoughts away. Yeah. Now, what, ha what goes on in that process? I'm concentrating on this. Thoughts come in. Then I try to push them away. Right? And then thoughts come in. So I keep this, don't I? Right? Yes. Are you pay are you listening to what I'm yes. saying? Don't if you're not interested, don't bother. It I'm thinking of an answer which you could give correctly first. What? I'm thinking of an answer which you could give correctly first. I can't understand you. I can think I'm thinking of an answer which you could give correctly for it. Look, sir, I was telling you when you concentrate on something, other thoughts come in, right? Yes. Then you try to push those thoughts away, and then you try to concentrate. So there is this going on all the time, right? So Think, but why do those thoughts come in? Huh? But why do those wait, thoughts? Wait, I'm coming to that presently. See, first see what, hap what is happening. You want to concentrate on something, then thoughts come come in, and then you push them out, and again thoughts come in, and again you push them out. So you really are not concentrating, are you? No. Because thoughts come in and disturb. <coughs> now he asks, why do thoughts come in? Right? Yes. Now you tell me why thoughts come in. I'll tell you. I think it's because we think about this huh? Because when you are doing something, uh, it occur, uh, it, uh, something else occurs to us. We think about that. Yes, that is. You want to, You are thinking about this. You are also thinking about something else. Mm. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Why? Why does this happen? Sir, so you keep thinking that uh, as you are concentrating, you, you keep thinking that uh, I should not allow thoughts to come in. Come and sit here. Yeah. Sorry. Three boys and a girl. <laughs> so, as you keep con as you try to concentrate, you keep thinking that I should not allow thoughts to come in, and so they come in. Yes. Why? Why do they come in? Yeah, because you keep thinking about it. But you are also thinking about this. So, because we are suppressing them, sir. Huh? Because we are suppressing them. That's right. You've got it. You have understood what you have said? Yes. Not quite. You are trying to concentrate on this. Other thoughts come in. Then you try to suppress thoughts. And only other thoughts except this. Right? So what is happening when you suppress? I suppress uh, my... I'm uncomfortable, I have eaten bad food, and I feel that, right? And I try to suppress my pain. Now, why do you do that? Why, why do you have suppression? Why do you suppress? Because you think that it will be right, sir. If you suppress, they won't come again. So you suppress it. That's right. So he says, when you suppress them, they come back again. So it is futile to suppress, right? Right? It would be wrong to suppress, futile to suppress. Then what will you do? If you are really thinking about it, sir, we should not get any other thoughts. Huh? If you are really thinking about something very seriously, sir, we will never get other thoughts. Other thoughts come in, old boy. Yes, sir, but when you are really uh, thinking without any other things, no, why should they come? Now, wouldn't you under try to understand why thoughts are always moving back and forth, right? Wouldn't you ask that question? I haven't quite grasped it, sir. Have you? Have you? If you don't do anything to those other thoughts, if you don't pay attention to them, will they go away? 
and then what you are seeing. Am I right? Would you come up here? Come up here, you sit up here. Don't be nervous. Come on. This is a very complex subject, isn't it? Most people, grown-up people, young people are told from childhood – are you listening? Yes. Listen carefully. From childhood you are told to concentrate, right? You want to look out of the window and the teacher says, concentrate on your book. But you are really interested in watching that lizard on that wall. Yes. Right? And the teacher says, Don't look, pay attention to the book. Yes. So from childhood, you are interested in watching the lizard, but the teacher says, Do this. Yeah. Now, if I were your teacher, I would say, let's both of us look at that lizard. You understand? Not try to force you to look at the book. Yeah. You have understood what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That is, you are you are watching that lizard. Hmm? There is no lizard here. <laughs> And your interest is in that lizard, not in the book. So I, as a teacher, would tell you, let's both of us watch that lizard very, very carefully. See how many, how it sticks to the wall, how many claws it has. See the head, see the eyes. Right? Yes, sir. I would help you to watch much more that than the book. Yes. So, but I got a question. Sir. Um, what? So, see, if if the teacher, okay, now in a class, uh, children get distracted at different times. Like I might get distracted at a certain time, and another person might get distracted at another time. And if the teacher tends to all our distractions, sir, how will she cover that portion? I'm going to show you. <laughs> You are also very clever here, aren't you? <laughs> Where do you come from? Madras. Huh? My parents live in Zambia. Sir. In? Zambia. Zambia. Right. First of all, I have no distractions. <coughs> Don't call it distractions. What is important is that you watch, pay attention, listen. That's important. But there are no distractions. Don't use the word distraction. Right? Now, wait a minute. I help you to watch that lizard, or I help you to watch that boy sitting over there, being restless, fiddling with his tongue, fingers. Right? <coughs> What I'm helping you, not helping, what I'm showing you is when you pay attention to something, whether it is right or wrong, then you can pay attention to the book. Yeah. Huh? You got it? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. That is, when you pay attention to that lizard, you have learned the art of attention. And I'm going to help all the boys, or 20 or 15 boys with me, to pay attention. And when there is attention, there is no distraction. 
Then good. Why, yes. Sir, then why don't teachers do that, sir? Huh? Suppose we get distracted in the class. There is no distraction. Don't call it distraction. Yes, sir. Suppose we want to watch something. Then why don't the teachers, I mean, help us to watch that thing? Ask them. <laughs> I'm telling you, come out here. Three girls, two boys, three girls, two girls, right. Come up here, come up. That's better. All right? You're not sure? Yes, sir. That's better. You're asking, why don't your teachers tell you all this? Right? Yes, sir. Why don't they tell you? So I think they want to finish that particular, whatever they wanted to teach us that day. That's right. They want to get it over. Yes, sir. They are bored. Yes. You are bored. Right? Yes. And they want to quickly finish what they have to say and get on to the next subject or next class. Yes. So they are bored with teaching. Right? Now find out from them why they are bored, why they want to finish quickly, why don't they help you to pay attention. Instead, if you pay attention to that, that lizard, then you have learnt the art of attention, right? Yes, sir. Have you got it? Yes. Sir. Then you can pay attention to the book. Then there is no distraction. So what is wait, 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 old boy. I'm finished. I am, if I were, if I were your teacher, I would, I would point out to you very carefully what attention is, right? Attention is to pay complete uh, energy attention to what you are watching. Right? And if you learn that, you can learn how to pay attention to your book. Yes, sir. Sir, sir but you might be interested in the lizard only and you might not like studies, what? so you won't be interested in studies. Somebody might not like to study. Yes. Then don't study. So then you can keep... I can wait, find out, sir. Find out. <coughs> find, learn. Find out why you don't want to read books. Now, you listen to me now. We have talked about concentration. That is, you are thinking, paying attention to something, then other thoughts come in, and you push those thoughts out. And so there is always this conflict, right? Wanting to pay attention to that, thoughts come in, and so there is constant mo chattering of the mind, brain. Chattering, 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 right? Yes. Got it? Now, meditation, the word meditation, you know what that word, you have heard about that word? Yes, sir. Meditation in England, in English, means also to measure, right? To measure, as in Sanskrit, if you ask, Radhika, Radhika ji, Pancho, thank you for helping me. If you ask Radha ji, Radhika ji, she will tell you. Ma is also to measure in Sanskrit. So, meditation also means to measure. Now, without measurement, there is no technological advancement at all. Agree? See that? Do you see all this, what I am saying? 
What do you mean by that uh, something you told that word? I don't understand huh? that word. What? I don't understand the word which you told. You don't the understand. Medici- you yes. don't understand the word I'm using. Yes. I'm using to measure. You've got tape measure, haven't you? Yes. Meditation all meditation means also measurement. I think he doesn't understand the word technological. Ah. Oh. Huh? Technological. He doesn't understand the word. Uh, you don't understand the word, the word technology? Yes. Huh? yes. Technique. To do something like, say for instance, you want to build a car. And you must know all the parts, put them together, huh? all, they're all working together. I, I have dismantled a car, right? put it all to pieces, and then put it all together, hoping it will work. But it did work, right? That learning about all the machinery, how it works, what are its components, what are its measurements, its metallic strength, and so on. All that is learning about that is called technology, some of it. Now, meditation, Concentration, for me, are two entirely different things. Sir, Sir, quite often you can uh, concentrate without even trying to concentrate. Like you'll be doing something and uh, you don't need to concentrate, you will be concentrated. You can do something, if you love something, you don't have to concentrate. Yes, sir. You understood that? If you love something, there is no concentration. Yes, sir. Do you love something? Quite a few things. Sir. Huh? Quite a few things. What? Quite a few things, he said. I... Quite, quite a few, a few, few things. things. What? Quite a quite few things. things. You love quite a few things. What are they? So, like reading books? Flying kites? Yes, sir. Huh? Blankets. Climbing mountains, climbing trees, Hiking, yes, chasing monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you really love? Collecting stamps. No, just me. Just made this too complex a subject for little boys. <clears throat> Meditation means to be free of measurement. This is too difficult for you all. Sir, concentration is something which we force and uh, do something, and meditation might be which you, where you don't force anything. That's right. Meditation can only take place when there is no effort, when there is no contradiction. You know, contradict, saying one thing, doing another thing. Right? So, so suppose you like reading. Then, then you're really concentrating on it. Isn't that meditation? Where you no, don't know no, no. You are then trying to understand what the book is saying. No, but you don't know you're concentrating. Like he said, you don't know you're concentrating, but you are concentrating. That is, when you, are, when, you like, when you like to read a good detective story, you don't, you enjoy it, you're a, don't you? Yes. Well, this is too difficult for you. Don't bother about meditation and concentration. It's much too difficult, right? Yes. Little bit. Now, I would like to talk about something else. May I? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. I've asked you what you would like to talk about, and then I would like, after asking you all these questions, I would like to talk to you about something else. May I? Yes, yes sir. sir. All of you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Human beings, like you, have capacity, have some kind of hidden talent. Talent, you understand? That is to paint, 
to play the violin, to play the flute, or to be a very good human being. You've got human beings have hidden talents, right? And your society, your parents, everybody says, become a businessman. Or become a doctor, or become an engineer, or become Indian administrative person, <coughs> service, right? So you are brain. You understand what is inside the skull is conditioned by your parents, or by the society in which you live. You understand what? Yes, sir. So you are own. Talent is destroyed by this pressure. You might be a great painter, right? Or a great singer, or a marvelous botanist, her horticulturist, right? Horticulture. But your parents, your society, no, that's not good enough. You must become really a businessman, or a good doctor, or IAS. So you le- you destroy your own talent, and what is important is to have your own talent. Then you are happy with it. You understand what I'm saying? But no. Wait, listen to what I'm saying. Don't. I'm talking now, yes. and you're listening to me. That's one thing. Human beings have essentially, in their hidden, a certain talent. Right? Not always to become a businessman or a captain in the army or a. As a flyer. So you have to discover your own talent and stick to that talent. Whether you become poor, rich, successful. So, but you can also be a businessman, and by the side of it, you can also sing. Or what? Uh, so you can also be a businessman. And by the side of it, you can also sing or paint or whatever. You can, uh, clever boys. You see, you have really trained these boys beautifully. <laughs> they say you can become a businessman, or a general, or an army captain, and also paint. <laughs> you follow the mind, how the, his brain is working. You are quite right, sir. Then you do neither think properly, fully, happily. Why, sir? Because you are torn between the two. Yes, I know this. I know this. You understand what I mean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I am talking for a while. So, it's very difficult also to discover your own talent. And it might not lead you to success. Doesn't matter then. You understand? Then you you don't mind not having much money because you you have got something in yourself, right? Yes, sir. So find out all of you. Find out your own talent. Your own something, your own, not imposed by education, by engineer, by your parents, by society, but find out something that you have for yourself. So, but if our parents force us to do, I know your parents force you to become an engineer, force you to become something or other, but when you are young, play the game. Say yes. Accept that and find out yourself. Sir, but tomorrow's 
supposing something happens no, no, to no. us? I know. Just listen to what I am saying, because I have got something more to say. Right? Yes. You don't mind? Yes. And also, you are going to enter into a world when you leave this marvelous valley with all the rocks and the shadows and the trees and the flowers and the really peaceful campus. You are going to leave, face a world that is terrible. Right? There is violence. Kidnapping, shooting, hmm? bribing. The world is becoming more and more dangerous. Right? And the world is becoming corrupt all over the world. Not only in India, where it is quite blatant. You know what the word blatant means? Yes. Quite open. They say, give me something before I go do something else. There is corruption, right? All over the world, not only here in this country, but in America, in France, in England, political corruption. Social corruption, black market, right, and so on. There's tremendous corruption all over the world. Right? We say that corruption is bribing, passing money under the table, right? uh, paying cash without giving an account. All that is called corruption, right? But that's only a symptom. You know what symptom means? The signs. Huh? Do you know what symptom? Right. Mm. Symptom means I might, I might, I have eaten something very heavy food and I have a tummy ache. The tummy ache is the symptom. But the cause is my eating the wrong food. Got it? Yes. So, I want to go into the cause of corruption. We say corruption. I hope you are all listening because you are all going to face the world when you leave the Valley. Excuse me, sir. Supposing, uh, sir, supposing you. Uh, if you don't take the money he's giving, sir, he might do something worse. If you take the money also, you're going to keep feeling the heart you shouldn't have. If I give you money on the table, you become corrupt. Yes, sir. And then you also become corrupt because you are accepting money on the right? Yes, sir. But if I don't take it, then he I know, will do something. I know, I know. If you don't take it, it'll hurt you. Yes. You know, just listen, understand what is the cause of corruption. You understand? Corruption isn't merely passing money under the table, bribing, black market, but it has the cause is something entirely different. Right? I'm going to go into that if you're interested. Corruption begins. with self-interest. Do you understand this? Yes. 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 If I'm interested in myself and what I want, what I must be, if I'm greedy, envious, harsh, brutal, cruel, there is corruption. You understand? Corruption begins in your heart, in your mind, not just giving by money, and that also is corruption. But the real cause of corruption is inside you. Unless you find that out and change that, you will be a corrupt human being. 
You understand what I'm saying? Corruption is when you are angry, when you are jealous, when you hate people, when you are lazy, when you are when you say this is right and I feel this is right and stick to it. You understand what I'm saying? Everything comes under selfishness. You are quite right. Corruption begins there. You understand, old boy? Yes. So don't be corrupt. It doesn't matter if you die for it. Wait, listen to me. You understand? We are all so frightened. You say, but how will I live? What will I do if I am not corrupt, when the whole people around me are corrupt? You understand what I mean by corruption? Not just the outward sign, but the deep inward sense of corruption that human beings live with. Selfish thinking about themselves, wanting their success, envious. You understand? So, corruption is inside, in your heart, in your brain. So if you understand that very carefully, and you are really serious, not cynical, most of those grown-up boys who are going to leave have become cynical. They see what the world is. They say, well, I've got to accept it. That's a form of cynicism. But if you understand very carefully from now that corruption is not merely passing money under the table, bribing, bribing whether it's two rupees or ten million dollars. It's still bribing. And being violent is part of what is called corruption, terror, all that. That's what's happening in the world. If you you are a human being growing up, don't be like them. Don't become angry. Don't be envious. Don't always seek success. So how can we stop all that? Uh How can we stop being envious and if you don't if you want to be envious, be envious and see what happens. You understand? But if you don't want to be envious, don't be envious. You don't say how do I stop it? Is some if you see something dangerous, hmm, like a cobra, nobody tells you, you run. Right? So corruption inside is most dangerous. Right? So don't be corrupt. Begin there first, not out there. You understood? Yes, sir. Will you do it? Don't promise. So? Wait, don't ever promise unless you are absolutely going to carry it out. (coughs) Right? But if you see how important it is in life, Because you're all growing up, growing into this terrible world. It's an insane world. You understand? There is no sanity in the political world, 
in the religious world, right? In the economic world, there is no sanity. So, please, I'm just pointing out to you whether you're grown up or leaving this marvelous valley or staying here for another two, four years. Don't be corrupt inside. Don't seek vanity, proud, pride. Don't say, I'm superior to somebody else. You know, you learn a great deal when there is humility. You know the word humility? You learn a great deal if if you're really humble. But if you're merely seeking success, money, 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 power, position, status, you understand? Then you are beginning with the with corruption. You might be poor. Be poor. Who cares? That's why it's important for you, for all of you, to find your own talent and stick to it, even though it doesn't bring you success, fame and all that, which is all nonsense anyhow, because we're all going to die. You understand, old boy? While you live, live. Not with all the rubbish that's going on. So, so then, uh, why don't uh, people realize this? Sir? Because they don't, they don't think, they don't feel, they have no. They are thinking about themselves all the time their job, their administration, their work. You understand? They're not interested in this. Very few are. So then how do you stop being selfish? Huh? How do you stop being selfish? How do you stop being selfish? <coughs> Don't be selfish. So, but then I, just listen. You say, how, then don't ever ask anybody how. You understand? Then they will tell you how. Then you are lost. That's the biggest corruption. You mean to say we must find out for ourselves? Find out. Inquire. Use your brain. Doubt. Question. Don't merely accept. I'm your teacher. Suppose I'm your teacher. I want my I want to see that you have a very good brain. Right? To have a good brain does means not to have conflict in yourself or with somebody else. I know it's, all this is too much. No, sir, I wanted to ask you, sir, but supposing you are not on the mistake and someone does something to you, and... If something does some... If someone does something harm to you, what will you do? Hit him back? <coughs> Depends on the depth of what he's done, sir. Yeah, you have said it. Pancho, you are quite... If he hurts you deeply, what will you do? Have you asked what it means to be hurt? Go on, think with me. Think with me. So is that 
corruption again to be hurt? Just listen. I suppose I hurt you very deeply. Suppose I don't want to hurt you. Suppose I want to hurt you very deeply. Now, you say I'm hurt. Hmm? Now, what do you mean by that? Use your brain. Physically. Don't repeat. Physically, yeah. yeah. Not only physically, but inside. He hurts you. He calls you a fool. So I think. Just listen carefully. All of you listen carefully. He calls you a fool. Hmm? And you get hurt, right? Have you found out what gets hurt? Careful, careful. Huh? Look, somebody calls you a fool and somebody calls you a great man. They're both the same, aren't they? <coughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Somebody calls me a fool. An idiot. And I get hurt, suppose. What gets hurt? Sorry. Careful, careful, think out, careful. Don't reply quickly, think out. Sir, think out. No, I won't listen. I said, think it out. Carefully think it out. I'm asking you, I call you an idiot. I hope I'm not seeing that. And you get hurt. Hmm? What do you mean, you getting hurt? You, who, what is you? Ego. Just think it out, old girl. Think it out. So, you and I. What is my me? My ego. What is you? What are you? So I am going to build up myself. Come out here, old boy. Sit in here. Come on, don't waste time. <laughs> yes, sir. Huh? I know you, so go on. So, what is hurt is me, what I've built of myself. That's it. What you have built of yourself, right? Which means what? So, what is hurt is what's been achieved, I've, what I've achieved, what I've what done. What you have done, what you have achieved. Why do you all, why are you all so accustomed to achievement. You all talk about achievement. Like your father, your mother, your grandmother, they have achieved. Right? They have become successful, you mean. No, sir, what they have done to themselves. Yes. Say, for instance, I have been all over the, some of the world, right? I have talked to various thousands of people. I have been to the United Nations. All kinds of things I have done, right? So, which means what? I have built an image, a picture about myself, right? Picture about myself. You come along and say, you are an idiot. And I get hurt, suppose. What gets hurt? My feeling. Huh? feeling. My feeling. My pride. My image. Your image of yourself. Huh? Your image of yourself. Yes, yeah, that's right. Image of myself. Because I've travelled, I'm a great so, man, I've written books, I've seen Mrs. Gar. Will you follow? I have built an image about myself. And that image gets hurt. Yes, sir. Now, next step. Listen carefully. Can I live without image? Any image. Can you, sir? Huh? Can you? I? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't otherwise talk about it. How so? That is dishonesty to talk about something you don't yourself are not living. So, but you want to go now, maybe to... Listen to what I am saying, old boy. So, have you an image at this age? Yes. Of course, all of you have images. And those images get hurt. 
And all through life you will get hurt for as long as you have those images. Forget them, sir. Huh? Should you forget them? Leave them. Don't have them. How do you Somebody, many people have flattered me. And many people have insulted me. I have no image, I can't get rid of it, doesn't matter. You understand? Yes, sir. Be like that. Be. That is where corruption begins. So, but how do you get rid of your images? Sir? Huh? So, but how do you get rid of your images? How do you get rid of images? <coughs> If you say they are dangerous, you will get rid of them immediately. So, if you get rid of an image, then what is left of you? Nothing. And what are you? Listen to what I said. Be nothing, and then you live. You people you will understand later. The big thing. The others might have an image of you, but we shouldn't have an image of us. Yes. Let the others have images. Don't you have them? Sir, but sometimes you have images will be insecure. What? Sir, sometimes if you don't have an image. Don't have not sometimes. Okay, sir, so if you don't and not, have an image. Are you talking seriously or or theoretically? No. Suppose a person can so, who is sub- why do you suppose? Sir, like if a person doesn't have an image, there's a time that person is likely to feel insecure. Be insecure. Sir, that person is likely to be insecure. No, you are insecure. Then find out find out what is security. But if you're always seeking security, you don't know whether you are insecure. But first find out for yourself, if you are insecure, what it means, physically, inwardly, and so on. So whether you have an image of yourself or not, you're insecure? What? Whether you have an image of yourself or not, you're insecure? Whether you have an image? or not, you are insecure. I am asking you, have you found out if you are insecure, or are you just talking? So I feel insecure about no, you. Wait, find out what it means. What it means to be insecure. Either you are insecure physically, right? Right? Or economically, or insecure in public opinion, right? Or insecure in money matters, or insecure in your relationship. Find out. And then what, sir? Huh? When you learn where there is insecurity, then you are secure. Get that old boy. So do you have any... Listen what I said. Yes. You get it? When you find out for yourself what is insecure, where you are insecure, with your family, with your father, with your mother, with your wife or husband, with God. (laughs) You understand? Find out, learn about it. The moment you know and have learnt a great deal about insecurity, then you are out of it. Then you are secure. So, if you learn a great deal about insecurity, you don't know the full of insecurity. Oh yes, you will know it. You will, sir. If you begin rightly, you understand? Then. You, what is right is at the beginning. I wasn't called. This is too difficult for you. So, so are you saying that live with insecurity to find out what it is? Uh, you are insecure, not live with insecurity. You just now said, I'm insecure. Yes. Live with it, find out. Use your brain to find out. 
don't become mechanical. So, to get rid of insecurity, we have to get rid of fear first, no? Fear, right? Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. Now I'm going to show you. Show you, you have to learn, not from me, learn. What is fear? Fear is nothing but the thing which we think, think uh, is bad for us. Huh? Something you don't know about. Wait, sir, see, you don't listen to somebody else first. You're always ready with your own question. He said, do you know what he said? You don't, because you didn't listen, because your own question was more important. That is selfishness. Right? <coughs> he said, fear. How is one to be free of fear? Right? <coughs> you meant that, didn't you? Right? So, first listen to that question. He said, what is fear? How is one to be free of it? Now, do you know you're afraid? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why? I think it's because I think of, uh, think of something which makes me feel like... Now, just me, you have said something Tremendous. I don't know if you are aware of it. You have said something very true. So, then There's, if we don't think of something, that's then... That's it. You have learned, first thing, that thinking brings fear. Right? Yes, sir. Right? I know, sir. Right? So you have to find out what is thinking, not how to stop fear. You understand? You just now said very carefully that thinking brings fear, which is true. I might die tomorrow and I'm frightened. I might lose my job, I'm frightened. Right? So thinking brings fear. Yeah, say. <coughs> then what is thinking? You have to go step by step to find out what is thinking. So, to get rid of thinking, or to get rid of fear, we have to get rid of thinking. No, I said never get rid of anything because it will come back. Okay, so you said if anything is dangerous, you wipe it out by yourself. Yes. So you see that fear is no. Dangerous. First, listen carefully. I said to you, fear. He said. Fear exists, comes when you think about something, right? Fear, I might die, fear I might lose my job, fear of my father, fear of my, my teachers, right? So as long as you are thinking about the future, right, there is fear, right? Now you have to find out what is thinking. So it might be selfishness. Yes, sir. Wait, wait. I'm asking you something. First, listen, boy. I'm not trying to stop you. What is thinking? Carefully use your brain. What the brain does? Huh? What the brain does? No. Use your brain to find out what is thinking. Imaginations. Huh? Huh? Imaginations. Imagination, go on. <coughs> Sir, and what you have seen, you record and you think about it. That is good, your beginning. You are recording, aren't you? <coughs> that is... <coughs> oh, Lord! <coughs> I'll show you. Our brain what is inside the skull is recording. You are recording mathematics. You are recording geography, history, 
you are recording. A tape is recording. This is recording down there. You understand? I am talking. Electrically, it's connected to that machine, and that's recording on the tape. Our brain acts exactly like that. It's recording. Right? Mathematics, history, geography, uh, your father. It's a recorded your father. Yes. Right? Yes. Now, wait a minute. What do you mean by recording? Think it out. Use your. To recall something back again. <coughs> what do you mean? Recording. Absorbs. Isn't it necessary to record? Yes, huh? Why? <coughs> To link the past to the future. No, isn't it necessary to record? I hope the older people, older boys are paying attention to the, all this, because it's their life. Yes, sir. So, recording is necessary when you write a letter, when you drive a car, right? When you have to pass an exam, unfortunately. When you record that you have a father in some place and a mother, right? All that's recording, that's necessary. Now, there's also another recording. I get hurt. You get it? Yes, sir. There are two kinds of recording. The recording of driving a car, driving a, les a letter, becoming IAS, becoming an engineer. Listen carefully, old boy. You are following? And there is also another recording. Me first. I am selfish. I want this. I want success. Right? So, these two are recording all the time, which is recording is memory, isn't it? Yes. Memory of your father, <coughs> memory of your mathematics, right? So, recording means memory, which is repeating. Yeah. Huh? You see this? When you learn mathematics, you are recording, you are repeating, memorizing. Like that. Tape. Right? So you become mechanical. Like that tape is mechanical, repeats, repeats, repeats. I am a Brahman, I'm a Brahman, I'm a Brahman. I'm a Hindu, I'm a Hindu. <laughs> I am against communist, communist, communist. Right? And so on. We have our brains then become conditioned, limited, small. Right? So thinking is part of memory. You can't have memory if you haven't met your father. If you haven't seen your father, your mother. So, you have seen the father and your mother, and that is stored in the brain as memory, and also that's knowledge. <coughs> and knowledge is based on experience, of course. Right? I am memorizing, sir. Right. You are memory. You understand? You are memory. The whole of your being is memory. Yes. Memory that you are Atman. Memory you have got a soul. Memory there is light inside you. Memory that there is God. It's all still memory. I know that you listen carefully, find out if it is true what the speaker is saying, or it's a lie. 
You understand? Find out your memory. Without memory, you are nothing. Memory of your name, memory of your family, memory of mathematics, memory of going up that hill, memory of your friend. Right? So you are your memory. Yes. Memory is something dead, gone. And how are we alive? Because the organ, you have food. You have air, no, water. <coughs> then how can we find out, sir? That is the great point. You understand? Sure. Find out what is truth. Not j- memory is not truth. So what do you mean by truth, sir? You can't describe it. So, but I don't what know. is what is? The flower. What is that flower? Look at it. You never ask when you are looking at that flower, what is it? How does it come? You have the beauty of it. Please learn something. Beauty is truth. You understand? Beauty is truth. The beauty of it, of good. Life, good life, not successful life. <laughs> so. Now, sirs, it's ten to eleven. Will you sit quietly for a minute? Sit quietly. All right, sirs. Thank you. Thank you.